All right, ladies and gentlemen, all my viewers in North America, U.S. and Canada, I have a special treat for you. I'm here with the beautiful Sunda Smufakir, who's won the most promising uh, Talent of the Year award at tonight's function. And uh, as it's wisely said, we saved the best for the last Sundas. What a pleasure. What a pleasure having you. Uh, the audience probably watches you on various shows that you've been doing. I know it's going to be, it's going to take a long time if you want to sum up your journey, but how do you feel tonight? You're very proud? Thank you so much for the introduction. Um, of course, I feel very proud because one year back I was in Paris working as a financial analyst and dreaming about me on a big stage winning an award. And in just one year and a half, without having any God in the industry, without speaking even the language, not knowing, knowing any word, I just came, started learning Hindi with a teacher, four hours a day, going to dance classes, uh, knocking door by door for auditions, and somehow I banged three reality shows in just one year and a half, won one of them, and the current one is one of the biggest reality shows uh, in India, Katruki Kilari, and it was an amazing journey, so yes, I'm very grateful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, don't I always tell you that keep dreaming because dreams do turn into reality. She's a living example of dreams happening. Living in Paris, what a, was a financial advisor, and you seriously did not know Hindi. What made you yeah. pack your bags and come to India? Yeah? I mean, because, what? Uh, because in, I'm like basically Moroccan and I've always wanted to be an artist. I've always wanted to be an actress, but you know how like our parents generation how is it is like you either be in finance you either be in science you either be a doctor so i did my mba in finance i was like okay guys i've done my mba in finance they were like okay work in finance i've worked in finance i got a little bit of savings and i've just sold everything my furniture and i packed two bags and i came to india knowing nothing like really i swear nothing no one i started learning hindi from i you know, really? like I, you, they, you know, I really knew nothing. Just, just the basic stuff. Well, yeah. I actually thought probably you saw Nora Fatehi dancing yeah. and you probably, maybe she was your inspiration. Yeah. Did she make you, uh, you know, give you some sort of confidence and you want to come down? If she can make it, you can make it. You said you're Moroccan, yeah. so yeah. what's that? Um, of course, she's a very, very big inspiration for me because she's also Moroccan, she's also Muslim. She also just packed her bags and went to India, you know, and she made it happen. And I want to like, like when I look at her journey now, she's like a huge star, but she started in 2011, 12. So it's right. been like it's been, it's been more than 10 decade. years, you know, right. and whatever I have been through just in one year, I have no wonder what she must have gone through for 10 years. I don't know how she made it mentally, but just me thinking about her, it makes me like stronger and I'm like, if she made it, you can also make it. And I'm like, I'm gonna make it, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna follow her path. Everyone's right. journey is very different. She started off like on the dancing side. You're not a dancer, yeah. right? Are you more of an actor? What would you classify yourself as what? What kind of a performer are yes. you? A singer, dancer, actor? So I don't like this question because I don't want to specify myself in one box. I don't want to put myself in one box because I believe that I've always wanted to be an artist. And I choose Bollywood because in Bollywood you can be an artist who can be a dancer, an actor, a performer, um, a host, a singer, all in one. If we look at Bollywood movies, they have like music, they have dancing, they have colors, they have everything in just one movie. Right. That's why I choose Bollywood, like even of the language barrier and I didn't go to the Moroccan industry or the Egyptian industry, which is like very easy because I know how to speak so Arabic. Speak Arabic and French. Yeah, Arabic and French. Wow. So, so t tell us something, you've interacted with, with Rohit Shetty, correct? Yeah. What is What did you feel or what is your take? Uh, something that you learned from all these great participants that you have, you know, what is one thing that you've learned from the great Rohit Shetty? Um, when I look at him, I just like look at a very like big, huge journey that he have built for himself to be who he is today, to be respected the way he is. And I'm just like, damn, I have been through so much, but it's just like yet the start. I have like a, exactly, it just like still have so much to do, Sundus, and you have to be really mentally very prepared. 
because such big stars to own their respect you have to go through so much you know they have a longer struggle and their struggles are exactly. not, not even exposed like people don't know what they've been through exactly. they just see the glamour they just see the glitz even people in, in the US right yeah. they don't know the hardship and the struggles share some of your struggles uh, yeah. Sundas tell us your worst day in Mumbai uh, you know, one day which you, when you felt like you know what I'm leaving I'm going back to to, 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 to France I'm going back to Paris um, I I was having like a little bit of my savings that were like l lasted and I got like a very huge tax coming from France because I wor was working in finance and my savings were done and I didn't have any projects I didn't have any 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 ad because I wouldn't speak Hindi properly so they wouldn't take me I would go to the audition and they would just like from far oh you cannot speak Hindi okay then yeah, go and I would like be in the rickshaw crying going back home oh, and like one of my friends um, one of my friends have landed me money and at the same time I got Splits Villa one of the reality shows and it's more of a reality show that it's, on, it's MTV, right? on MTV it's more about you know clothing it's more about showing like how you look showing like your glamour side and all I didn't chop anything I just went with whatever clothes I had and I went and somehow I won that show you won that show. Yeah, I won that show. We have a winner of Splits Villa. I don't know if you guys watch yeah, Splits Villa, but you can it. actually look that up on YouTube. It's a very, very catchy show in India. And because of that, I I made it to Katro Kikilari. So I just want to tell people that there is something beyond the glamour side. There is something beyond the makeup. There is something beyond uh, all these materialistic things, which is your personality, which is your confidence, which is your ambition. If you have that thing inside you, if you have that fire that wakes you up every morning and you're like, fuck it, I'm gonna make it no matter what, you're gonna make it. So just put aside whatever people tell you that you have to look this way, you have to have such a big chest, you have to be that way. It doesn't matter, your confidence will always shine more than anything else. That is beautiful, having language barrier, coming from a foreign land, having nobody as yeah. a legacy, because you, usually you see in Bollywood, it's yeah. usually they, they, they come from families which already have exactly. established names. Exactly. So you do you believe in destiny, Sundas? I believe... Did I get you to pronounce your name right? Yeah, Sun yeah, Sundas. Sundas. Right. I, of course, I do believe in destiny, but I do believe that your destiny will never get to you unless you go one step towards it. So well said. I think you are well read, well educated. You've taken calculated risks in life and now you're doing Khatro Ke Khilari. Do you want to speak something in Hindi and impress my people watching you in the US? Um, okay. I will tell you. I saw a year ago in Paris, I never thought that I could get this award today. Today I have three reality shows, so thank you very much for the Indian audience because you have given me so much support and so much love and I can't do anything without you without you in this industry. So thanks so much and I always believe in your dreams and in case you don't just like fake it till you make it. Actually, she's just made my evening. She is a perfect example of guts and glory, and I'm so happy that I got a chance to meet you, Sunda. So I wish you all the very best, and may you keep doing better projects after Khatro Ke Thank you so much. This is your host, Monty. I'll be back with more winners. This night's getting interesting. Keep watching the Monty Khan Show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all the viewers of North America, U.S., and Canada, I promise you I'll be back with somebody really talented, and I fulfilling my promise I'm here with a very talented girl from Mumbai Naira Banerjee Naira first of all congratulations on winning this great award tonight Thank you, so much. you are looking stunning let me tell you that black I mean everyone's wearing pink but she wants to stand I'm out like Barbie right now <laughs> like Barbie right yes now. Well, Naira, very few people know that you know you your your name is Mother Emma and is it is is that true? I that's mean, that's my South Screen name. That's your South Screen. That's my South Screen name. I don't use it anymore. You don't use that anymore. Okay, yes. wonderful. Because when I was doing a little bit of research on you, I saw that you speak a lot of languages. Is that <laughs> is that right? Uh, I speak a lot of languages because I've worked down south, yes, and I've done yes. Telugu, Tamil, Malayalam, Kannada, all the four languages. Wow. So yeah. Talented powerhouse man, and you sing. 
Kind of. Kind, kind of. of. Like my mom wanted me to be a singer. I practice music. I do my riyas every day. But um, I've never thought of taking it to the next level, honestly speaking. But if, if somebody wants me to sing, I'll definitely prepare myself and give it a shot. Give it a shot. So she's ready, multi-talented singing. And I'm sure you're a great dancer. <laughs> yes, I've learned uh, Kattak Bharatnatyam as well, belly dancing, wow. Bollywood with Shamak Davars. So I've done it all and I hope I, 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 I keep performing well and uh, people... You are winning hearts. I know with Khatro Ke Silari, Kilari, you know, the, the, the season that's happening and, you know, people are loving you. You have that energy, that magnetic personality on screen. But do you like going, do you like time travel? <clears throat> no. <laughs> no? Okay, okay, but we're still going to ask her this question. What was the turning point in your life where I could say that you would believe your life changed? I think my life actually changed after I entered uh, the television industry. Okay. I was not studying the film, not the South, not the film, not the South film, because I was doing uh, movies, the Bollywood and the South, when I was studying law. And uh, at that point in time, um, being an actor was not a priority. I was just doing it out of kicks, good, good, uh, good money, and I wanted to be a lawyer. I specialized in IPR. Did you complete your law degree? Of course. I got to be very careful, guys. There's a lawsuit coming, so I got to be very careful with my questions. All right, I'm just kidding. Corporate law, is that what you did? IPR, intellectual property rights. Intellectual yes. Intellectual property rights. I specialized in that. So um, my whole focus was just to like enjoy this because it's it's, it's a nice, glamorous um, yeah. uh, career. Especially if you're good looking, yeah. you can sing, you can dance. Yeah. So and I'm a Bengali, so every oh. Bengali would know how to sing and dance and paint. So I use, I use that. Sit down on your couches. She's going to sing something for you. So oh, that's no. a little promise. I'm not going to put her on the spot. But oh my God. did you have support from your parents? Absolutely. In fact, uh, they were very excited. Uh, they were nervous initially because my first project was for the South film and we had never seen South Indian movies. Yeah, when we I had was growing up, we, we, I mean, we never looked down upon it, but we were not aware. Un unrelatable. Unrelatable. So not I'm, like right now, how the South Yeah, is. so I didn't know how to react to that and I don't know what kind of movies are made over there and um, whether I should do or not do. But then um, my dad was a little against it initially, but then no, he's I like... spend a lot of money on the law degree, better get, better get a good job. Yeah, this was always there that you, no matter what you do in your life, you have to finish your graduation. This is of utmost importance because I belong, I come from the family of professionals. But Nobody's... Isn't that, isn't that a typical norm in every, every South Asian family? Doctor, lawyer, engineer, banana. Uske baad jo karna hai karo. Exactly. Ah, so, so ye to funny baat hogi na. Aadhe to engineers hai mare industry mein. Look at Kriti Sanand. I mean, so yeah. my mom was like, "Kuch bhi ho jaye, you should be, you should have something to fall back on if your career Good. is Good. not going great in acting. Good. Jo tumhe karna hai. Us time pe to acting ka nahi tha. It, I was not. Uh, uh, I didn't. I never thought that I'll actually pursue this career so seriously later on. Once I got done with acting, then I realized that damn, I did not do internship. You didn't do an internship? I didn't do internship okay. because okay. when I was studying, simultaneously I was shooting. So all my friends, they did internship and now they're practicing law. If I have to do my internships, for me, again, start from scratch. You're not understanding. All your friends were practicing law. I'm not sitting down and doing an interview for them. Who flies 24 hours and comes down and does an interview with Naira Banerjee? They are practicing law, boring life. Look at you here. Yeah. You're signing autographs and now it's the selfie era. Back in the days, it was the autograph era, yes. you know, so I think, I, think, I think you made the right decision. I did. And also the thing is, um, even down in down south that time, when you don't consistently do movies, like suppose I had my exams or I do not like a certain uh, project or whatever, there the thing was you have to continuously keep working to be in the limelight so that people think, oh, okay, this is the person, this is the hot cake right now, this is the hot property right now, keep casting, keep casting. I was very choosy because I never took it seriously. So when I got done with my studies, there was a lag in South industry for me because I had given too much gap because I was studying law and that's not an easy, uh, uh, yeah. So I had to again rethink, like what do I do? My last film was One Night Stand. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah. and I, ex Old. yes. <laughs> and I started getting similar kind of roles which I didn't want to play or genre. I didn't want to do so I had to really wait and then a casting director told me that Naira you've done so many movies but uh, you still haven't reached where you should have reached by now gotcha. 
obviously i i wouldn't have reached there because i was studying there are a lot of people who quit studies to do movies to i didn't do that so he's like you know you should do a tv show which is not exactly tv format it's it's a very modern tv it's only for 6 months give it a shot see how it goes if you enjoy well and good then you talk about katro no my first tv show on star plus which is called the vidishti it was boom So that's how uh, my career, the point in time, it, it it changed and it changed everything for me. That casting director had the Midas touch, and he gave her the right advice. But to be honest with you, like I don't know if my research is good enough, you know, but I do a little bit. That you even did assistant direction with Azhar. So what was that feeling? Why did you want to be an AD? You wanted to learn how it's done. You've already had so many years of experience. I had the experience, but I was always very curious with the cameras. now being an assistant director has got nothing to do with assisting the camera department Correct. That's the but OP. yeah but it led me that curiosity to be behind the uh, uh, scenes and the director was a friend of mine he was a family friend so he said that they ko bahut shock hai janne ka ki kya hota hai aaja aaja i became an paise nahi dunga ha paise nahi diye oh my god i should have been lost of damage yeah right. <laughs> paise bilkul nahi diye and uh, i was not supposed to sign anything uh, um, uh, up until uh, one night stand released so before one night stand uh, i was working on azhar and i could you not my perspective towards the work Change. beat discipline beat understanding how this goes for me i started feeling that i am so privileged i just wake up in the morning say a few lines and come back home and these guys they create everything around you they are the makers and we don't and who is getting the limelight us But that was realization yes i had so much respect and that's the reason as an actor i grew i took the craft so much seriously was it renzel the director for sir what is his name Tony D'Souza. Tony D'Souza. I was going to say Renzel, Ren, Renzel D'Souza, but Tony D'Souza. I think Tony D'Souza. Thank you so much for making Naira the person she is right now, more evolved. Respect to the yes. technical craft. The, tec- the technicians work hard. Yes. It's not like in Hollywood, And you know. It's love different. Me. Love to work with me because I understand. I understand cameras. I understand like uh, the format, the frame, the blocking, the lens, everything. I know how to switch my body language or my expressions. Everything. So. It's it's a blessing. But now you've evolved as an actor after Azhar because you've learned humility, and I'm sure you must have been humble before. But you know, a question when I'm looking at you and it just coming naturally, like you still, you just turned twenty one last year, right? No. I mean, I know, I know, and I'm trying to just compliment her. But I how do 36. you? I shouldn't have said that on camera. I'm sorry, guys. But the lots of lo- lot of heartbreaks. I can hear them. But but seriously, how do you keep yourself like you look? Twenty-one. Thank you. I swear on God, man, guys, she hasn't paid me anything, <laughs> no under the table stuff. But I'm seeing her in person. You're seeing her on camera. You're gifted. Yeah, I think it's it's to do uh it's a lot to do with um how you're handling your life. You know, uh, it, it's a lot to do with your lifestyle. A lot is your genes. My both my parents were very good looking. I'm a Bengali. We have. good genes and uh, staying stress free uh, after i left i lost my dad and my grandparents i so went so into spirituality and i understood how to uh, handle life so i think that helps the inner glow the inner child bringing it back i've I've worked a lot on myself during the covid times two years were but is it food is it yoga is it like everything, everything together it's not one thing that works it is an external effort and internal effort together So Tara se baat karne ke baad what I feel like guys I know a lot of people are stressed out about a lot of other things in life but keep the stress away cuz stress is what ages you that's something that I've learned Naira I know I I would love to talk to you more because this is such a great conversation but a quick quick questions you know that I would love to ask you as I ask a lot of my celebs that I interview somebody that you always dreamt and you want to work with in Bollywood as an actor Look I'm really inspired by Priyanka Chopra I really love the way she's handled her life. How especially, focused especially her U- US life, the life. Yes, US. she's so focused. She's always so inspired. She's so disciplined. She has tremendous belief in herself. She knows everything is achievable. I love her mind. You know, um 
Who would love to act with her just to understand how she is? How does she do it? How does she do it? What about a male, like a male actor that you've always wanted to? You know what? This is one guy that I want to do a film with, no matter what happens. Beg, borrow, steal. Um, with the males, I haven't seen that kind of a. Amir Khan, maybe. Yes. I'm, yes. I'm a mind reader. I read tarot cards, mind read. You know, he, he prepares right from scratch and as an AD I've learned to do that. I would love to see how he prepares, how does he think and react and stuff like that. And a director if I had to ask you? Director would be... Um, you know, I really liked Imtiaz Ali films. Oh yeah. yeah. Because they're very emotionally driven. Emotionally driven and very well, very well And it has a spiritual touch also. Yes, so, let's see. Something. Her dreams can be manifested if you put it out to the universe. She wants to work with Priyanka Chopra, Amir Khan and Imtiaz Ali. What a project <laughs> with Naira Banerjee. Yeah. Well, you know, Naira, I want to just say that I just want to thank you, first of all, for giving our U.S. audience your time. And uh, you are a great person. You yourself have great energy. Uh, something that you want to tell, I'm going to give you the mic. The, the screen's all yours. To all the aspiring people, who are living with a dream but have not been able to realize that dream? So, um, you know, there are so many situations in life where we work hard and we think that I'm working so hard, why isn't it working out for me? For example, now you go to a gym, you're working on your muscles but if you're not working on your diet if you don't have stress if you if you have a lot of stress that means you're you're full of toxicity and also you're not breaking that latent plateau you know only when it is difficult and you keep hitting on the difficult part you keep continue to do it someday you will overcome that so we all do not understand that we need to uh, uh, you know lose our comfort zone and keep trying also if you have really tried for a very very long time and you feel that it's not working maybe that route is not for you you have to look for alternative options also you always have to keep other alternative options in life and keep trying hard and never give up thirdly uh, question yourself if you if you are if you think that you want to be an actor why do you want to be an actor yeah. Is it only because you think that you have good looks and you deserve to be an actor? I, you really need to ask these questions. If you were, uh, uh, if you had to be an actor, what are the things that an actor needs to do? An actor needs to learn so many skills because you don't know what projects will be offered to you. And there's a lot at stake, you know. A lot the at stake. The film, the entire project. Yes. Not just one person being there, being finished. Exactly. So always question yourself. Always try to understand what are your thoughts, what do you want to do, why do you want to do. And, do, and the most beautiful thing that you said, do you deserve it? Do you deserve Ask it? Yourself. Ask yourself that. That's beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. That's the beautiful Naira Banerjee. And as I promised before we go, before we sign up, she's going to sing a little song, something, please. <laughs> you know, that beautiful voice and how she speaks about your favorite song. Um. Kalhona is a good option. Just one line, yeah. yeah I'll <laughs> sing with you if you want. Okay. With my terrible Har pal yaha, jee jo, jo hai sama, kal ho na ho. song ladies and gentlemen that's the beautiful Naira Banerjee and I wish you guys all the best keep watching the Monty Khan show I'll be back with more interesting talented winners <laughs> stay tuned keep smiling